Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another project video. I'm Noah for Adafruit and it's September. You know what that means? It's unicorn season. <laughs> Halloween is about a month away, but it'll be right around the corner if you don't plan for it. So it's time to start planning. Last year we put together a 3D printed unicorn horn. This year we thought we'd remake it using some new modeling techniques. So let's check it out. So this is a really simple project that you can make in about an hour and a great one for anyone who's new to electronics. We'll only need a battery, an on and off switch, and any color LED, but preferably purple. You'll also need some tools like a soldering iron, some wire, and a needle and thread. This is a perfect project for the M3D Micro 3D printer because it's small enough to fit on the bed and it works really well printed in flexible filaments like NinjaFlex's Cheetah. We designed it in Fusion 360 using sculpt tools and it's basically a tapered coil that spirals around a cone. You can check out my Lair by Lair tutorial on how to design your own and I'll have it linked below. We printed the horn in regular glow-in-the-dark NinjaFlex without any support material at 40 millimeters a second, which is kind of fast for TPU filament. Our little M3D micro printer did a great job with Tough Stuff and Cheetah NinjaFlex, both printed with a temperature of 240C with no heated bed. We also experimented with a dual extrusion version using two colors on our Sigma 3D printer from BCN3D. Now to make it glow, let's start by preparing our wires. The silicone coated stranded wires is really great for this project because it's flexible and it doesn't break easily. We'll use some wire strippers to remove a bit of insulation, basically exposing the wires. I recommend tinning the wires with a bit of solder which will make connecting them to the LED much easier. Next I'll trim the legs of the LED and take note which one is positive and negative. Then I'll tin those up and solder the two wires. Now I can solder the positive wire from the LED to the SW pin on the JST breakout and the negative wire to the ground pin. I'll plug in the battery to the JST breakout and flip the switch to test the circuit. If everything is good, we'll have a nice glowing LED. This LED holder will keep it in the center of the unicorn horn and it just snap fits into this little hole. Now we can plan out where we want the unicorn horn to be. Here, I'm putting it in the lower center of my hoodie. I used an X-Acto blade to mark out where I want the LED to be, and then I just poked a hole through it. Then we can push the LED through the hole and pull it through the other end. Now we can fit it into our little LED holder. I'll put it back in, making it flush with the fabric. I'll place the unicorn horn over the LED holder and orient it so that the tabs are in a good spot. You basically just want them away from the seams. I used a needle and thread to create some tight loops around the tabs and made sure to tie a few knots on the inside of the hoodie. Then I'll just snip away any excess thread. And we'll repeat this process for all four sew tabs. I also made some loops around the wires just to keep them from going all over the place. There was a convenient little pocket on the back of my hoodie that could house the battery, but if you don't have one, you could always fit it into the tag. Now you can turn it on and we should have a very glowy LED unicorn horn. So it's pretty flexible and it's soft, so it won't hurt anything or anyone. And if you print it in glow in the dark filament, it looks pretty cool. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope this inspires you to start planning for Halloween. If you want to check out this project and many other projects on the Adafruit Learning System, you can check out our YouTube playlist. It's a Halloween playlist, and we'll have it linked right up here in the card. We'll have some more projects plans, but until then, I'm going to make like a unicorn and disappear. 